Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves color. And today we are going to be doing this like really fun pastel tie-dye neon look that I have on my eyes today using some loose pigments that I got from Makeup and Murder. I bought them myself on my own money. It's a very expensive hobby that I have here. <laughs> um, so I bought the pastel neon pigments. Uh, they do have a name. Pastel Poison Neon Pigments. It came in a set of six. So I'm going to be applying all six of them on my eyes to create the look that I have on today. And I'm um, going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing, first impressions, review, all that. So if you guys want to see my full thoughts, then please keep on watching. And excuse the mess behind me, we are actually in the process of moving, which is really, really exciting. Um, the next time, well, I'm going to be getting through, I have a ton of old footage that I just need to finish editing. Um, so I'm probably just going to be splicing, you know, some footage filmed here, some footage filmed at our old apartment, and I'll probably start filming at our new apartment as well. So I'll just look like I'm traveling, but I wish. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so uh, let's unbox this. Oh, I actually have a pair of nail scissors here, which is just what I use to unbox, it seems. So I'm just gonna cut this open. I've got my name and address on this side, so you can't see that. And now I have to turn this around. Okay, let's do it this way. So it says, please handle with care fragile. Thank you. We will see if this was handled with care. I actually also ordered these last summer, at the end of last summer. Okay, let's see if I can open this. All right. Oh my God. This brand is just too good. Everything is so on point with them. So it's, my package is wrapped in bubble wrap and it says sealed evidence. I think this is just so cute. Uh, do not tamper to be opened by authorized personnel only. This is just too adorable. And then we have my packing slip in here and it's just the pastel uh, poison neon pigments. That's what it's called. Okay, so I ordered August 11th. It was shipped on August 24th and then it was delivered on September 7th. Almost two weeks until it was shipped out, but I think they were having a sale at the time if I remember correctly. And I remember with these pigments, I don't know if it's still going on, but at the time they restock them maybe once a month or something like that, maybe once every few months. Uh, like I remember these were sold out for a while and then I jumped on it when they had a restock. So that might be why it just kind of took a bit of time for it to actually be shipped out. And then until, yeah, it took almost a month for it to get to me. I order things from overseas all the time. Like this company is based somewhere in the US. Uh, They're based in Florida. I order things from China all the time. So the amount of time that it took really dis didn't bother me. I, I consider that, yeah, this is an indie brand as well. So, you know, I cut them some slack. I don't know how many people they have on their team, but I imagine their team isn't that big. Okay, this is sealed exceptionally well. We've got lots of tape securing this. I'm just gonna cut through. I just wanna keep this tape because I think that's so cute. That is adorable. Okay, and then we've got more, <laughs> more of this like evidence tape. Um, and that's actually the, the like shrink wrap or whatever that's holding it together. This is just so on brand. I love it. And then these are the neon pigments. Okay, so there's actually a kind of like perforated or serrated edge to this little plastic. So I'm trying not to like make all these spill out. And I think they might have changed their packaging, like the bottles that are actually holding the pigments, because I know they got some complaints about just like how difficult it is to get your makeup out and these are i think glass bottles they feel very substantial drop but look at how pretty 
Uh, I kind of have a rough idea of what I want to do. I saw, uh, I'll just put it up on screen. I saw this look from Leslie Marie 1213, but I just love how bright and colorful it is. And some of the colors kind of are similar to the colors that I have here. So I wanted to do a similar type of look. She used one, two, three, four, possibly five colors and we've got six. So that'll be a little bit of a challenge, but I really want to do a look with all of these and I don't really want to do a split look because I've already done one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna just prime my eyes. The last time I played, like on camera, the last time I played with loose pigments was uh, when I tried out the EA Beauty uh, neon pigments. And uh, those actually came in bigger containers. This is gonna be a little tricky for me, but kind of through trial and error. And this eyeshadow primer actually works as a pretty good sticky base. Although in general, I find that loose pigments actually stick fairly well. So I'm just gonna use a flat brush. I think I'm just gonna use this Morphe M124 brush. Because these are loose pigments, I'm not gonna be blending them out too, too much. Uh, so it's gonna really be all about the like application and I'm, I might blend a little bit but because they're so concentrated I won't be able to blend too too much. Okay so let's take a look. I'm gonna try and order these somewhat like how she did it because I like the mix of colors that she has. So maybe let's try something slightly different just so I can make it my own. I'm thinking I'm gonna do these four colors um on my like lid area lid and crease area um so it's the yellow the orange do these have names i don't know if they do the yellow the orange the purple and the like reddish pink and then i'm gonna do the blue and green under my lash line my lower lash line yeah because those go together so we kind of have like warmer ish colors on the top and then cooler tones on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the yellow and I'm just gonna work from the inside out and then I'll do my lower lash line after. So, ooh, okay. So they, I know that they definitely got a lot of feedback on these bottles, as cute as they are. It's a little tricky to get these corks out. And I think people were talking about also that like it's hard to dip your brush in here. It's very tricky to get the cork out, okay. Yeah, these are really wedged in there. Wow, that is a deep cork. That's like an earplug. Oh, okay. And then I see. So the, the product itself doesn't really start, or at least most of it doesn't start until about there, which actually, I mean, that still gives you a lot of product. It's just a little deceiving. Okay, I mean, like not the biggest deal. Right. And because these are so concentrated, I don't need that much. Very messy, wow. Okay, yeah, if I put down some primer, it would be even more intense. Okay, wow, it's a really cool color. Feels like black light, like that's just what I think of. It's a really cool inner corner highlight color. It just really makes anything pop. Um, wow. So like, honestly, if you just like throw on some eyeliner and some lashes, like this is a look right here, but we're gonna continue. Ooh, yeah, there is product getting everywhere. These are very messy. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit that fell out just to really intensify what we got here. Next, I'm gonna use the orange shade. Now, do I wanna just do a look in the crease and leave my lid bare? Cause I think it'd be kind of cool to do this and then maybe like a glitter or something but I do want to showcase the product. So, and you know what? I primed my lids already. So fine, I will tap this on. Okay, so we got four colors on the lid. I'm gonna go a little further out and just build this up a little bit. Really, really beautiful pigmentation. Wow. They weren't kidding, these are very neon. It's so interesting, they're pastel, but they're very neon at the same time. I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, it seems to be blending. I mean, I'm not like blending blending, but like it seems to be, you know, blending into each other fairly nicely. I'm always like, why don't I ever wear loose pigments? And then I put on loose pigments and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why. They're just, they're super messy. They're so worth it but they're messy and they're time consuming. So in the mornings when I'm 
getting ready for work. I don't really have time. Could wake up earlier and make time, but why would I do that? No, I'm kidding, but the effort is totally worth it. All of these are beautiful. Next, I think I said I was gonna do purple. That's probably gonna take up most of my lid. I just wanna wipe off the orange because if they blend into each other, I'm worried that it'll get really muddy. Oh my God, this is the perfect shade of lavender. Oh my God, I would just throw this shade on my lids, like just plain and maybe some eyeliner, mascara, and like I would wear this just as a look by itself, just this purple. Okay, there we go. These layer so beautifully. Okay, so here where the two colors meet, because they're kind of opposites on the color wheel, I just wanna be careful blending those in because I'm worried that they'll get really muddy. So I'm just kind of stamping it. I really don't work hard at like blending. I just kind of stamp them together and that seems to work. Yes, I am so happy. I am thrilled that I bought these. They did not pay me to say this, but I mean, look at this pigment. This is exceptional. Uh, and now I said I was gonna do the pink on the end. The green could actually be kind of interesting, but I'm gonna stick to my plan just because the blue and the green will blend really nicely together on the bottom and I can do kind of yellow to green to blue. So, ooh, yeah. Probably should have done like yellow, orange, pink, purple. Those would have blended into each other nicer, but I mean, it's not the worst. I don't know why these colors together, they make me think of like Arizona, New Mexico. I'm probably totally off because I've never actually been there. I haven't quite made it to the uh, southwest of the US. I'd love to visit one day. Let's just blend these because it's getting a little unruly over here. I'm just gonna like kind of wing it out a little bit because I kind of tend to do that. <laughs> We got like a pastel tie-dye situation going on and I am not mad about that. Now uh, I'm gonna switch to a smaller flatter brush for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna switch to the M152 brush and I don't need very much because it's a smaller area. I didn't prime this. I think it'll probably stick fine. I'm just worried about fallout. Actually, oh God, my eye. Um, these with a mixing medium would be an excellent mascara. Definitely have to try that sometime. Cause I mean like it's coating my lashes even without me doing anything. I have some fallout on my face. This is a beautiful seafoam green, but it could also be used as a really nice St. Patrick's Day color. Okay, and now we're moving on to the blue and this look is almost done. Oh, this is like the perfect sky blue. I'm just gonna connect this to the pink even though they don't match at all. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm just gonna go over everything quickly just to make sure that we're all blended nicely. The lower lash line looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave that as it is. You know what, I'm gonna work my way backwards. And literally, I'm just patting like the smallest amount of purple onto the line where they meet. Okay, so it is getting a little, like the barest hint of being muddied because these are like pure pigment. I can just stamp some more over top and it should be fine. Like if you know how to work with these, it can be pretty forgiving. And like as a general rule, I don't take too much on my brush so that if you mess up, like it's, it's not the biggest deal, but I definitely don't treat these the same as eyeshadow. Like I kind of treat them as like a separate category. Ah, oh, I've got a lot of powder in my eyes. Just for touching up the yellow, I'm just gonna use a small angled brush from e.l.f. Really get in there. This might not have been the brush to use. Keep wiping off pigment like right in the center there. I don't know what's going on, it just won't stick. Yeah, okay, this angled brush, 
not the brush to use. It just keeps wiping off pigment. I really should have put down primer on my, uh, on my inner corner because now it's just really not sticking there. Okay, let's see if I can just kind of blend this part away. Yeah, because these are so powdery, they actually mostly wipe away pretty easily. I don't know if it, there's like something else in these besides like just pigment. They're just really easy to work with actually. It's like a little messed up in the inner corner here. I just can't really get it to do what I want it to do. So I'm gonna leave it. This is what we're looking like here. I'm gonna do uh, lashes, liner, mascara. I'm gonna pick out a lipstick and uh, put on a wig and then I'll show you guys the final look. So I am back and this is the final look. I added the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Protector. I actually tried this out for the first time, so if you're interested in seeing that video, uh, I'll just link it up over here. I think it's very clear <laughs> what I think about these pigments. I am just in shock of how bright they are in person. Now, granted, I did put down some eyeshadow primer, but I didn't really put down any on my inner corner or on my lower lash line, and I still got really decent payoff. But uh, where I did, obviously, the color was a lot more intense. These are just such a dream to work with. Visually, they're stunning, but even just as far as application, uh, blending, that sort of thing, really, really beginner friendly other than like the packaging, which is like just a little, it's not the most difficult to work with, but it's, it's going to get messy, but that's kind of the territory that you're in when it comes to loose pigments. This is my first introduction to the brand and I've just had such a positive experience. I feel really bad for just letting these sit for so long because they're really, really good. Like I can't wait to play with these some more. It's a shame that they're in not the easiest or quickest format to use, like just loose pigments, you're gonna make a mess, you have to really take your time, you can't be in a hurry. But if these were like pressed eyeshadows in a pan or in a palette, then I don't know if I would have gotten as good results uh, because they're not like pure pigments, even if they were like just pressed pigments, like, I don't know, I feel like you could probably build up the intensity, but I don't know if you could get this like on the first application. So I don't know, pros and cons. The packaging on these is just so adorable and everything from like the packaging, like the individual labels to, to the um, like evidence wrapped package. Yeah, sealed evidence, uh, authorized personnel only, like just everything about this brand is so on point. They've done a really, really good job. So if you're into kind of like true crime, murder mysteries, anything like that, and you also like makeup, like this is definitely the brand for you. One thing, I'll mention is when I first heard about this brand, everyone was raving about the fact that it's like a, you know, true crime themed makeup brand. And like, if you're into true crime and you're into makeup, this is a brand for you, uh, which is true. But I mean, I love true crime and I love makeup and I don't like those worlds to mix usually, like, especially when it comes to makeup brands. Like I'm, I'm really sick of all these kind of like gimmicky brands, uh, even like a brand like Glamlight, which... I've heard their quality is amazing. I just don't like anything that's like, I don't know, like on the one hand, I applaud their creativity. On the other hand, it's like, there's no connection to beauty and makeup. So why are you making a connection? And I really think Makeup a Murder, I think of kind of like gimmicky brands, like of kind of like themed makeup brands, I think they do it the best because You've got your little like vials of poison. You can wrap them in an evidence bag. Uh, what was it? I think they have false lashes that also come with like police tape around them and that's part of the packaging. Like they're kind of like, they pigeonhole themselves in the sense that they have to stick to crime related products. But I think in general, they execute it really, really well and they come up with really, really smart products and smart applications of products. And 
just make it work and their color stories also just seem to be really really on point even though it's not exactly like necessarily the same colors as like I don't know colors that you'd see in a crime scene necessarily they just they make it fit within the theme very well it's just everything's executed very very well branding the naming the execution it's done very well the packaging of course everything so I really really applaud them for that so now that I've tried out all six of these pastel pigments, what do I think? Um, I like them. <laughs> I really love them. What can I say? I mean, they're, they're all great. They all seem to perform really well. I did have some trouble with the yellow, but I think it's just because of the brushes I used and just a really difficult area to get to. And I think in the future, if I was applying color to my inner corner, I think I'd put down some sort of sticky eyeshadow base just to really make the product sit there better. But I mean, like they, they applied really well. They applied very, very pigmented. I think I only did like about two to three layers depending. And I mean, I've got like this excellent, excellent pigmentation. Well done, I am floored. I give these all a solid, solid, 11 out of 5. Well done, Makeup of Murder. I'm so happy with these and I can't wait to play with them some more. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, what you thought of this look, what you... I don't know if you tried this brand before, let me know. I am trying to scale back a little bit on my makeup purchases, but if there's something that you really, really recommend, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts, your recommendations, because I just love just love playing with makeup and learning about more makeup and just, I don't know, I just love makeup. So I'd love to hear your recommendations. Uh, if you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel, I'm sure you'll love the content that I post on my other social media. Just everything, you know, bold, colorful, exciting. Uh, yeah, so I'd love it if you could follow me on those platforms. I'll also link them below. And if you enjoy the content that I post here on my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe and join the little community that I'm trying to build here, which just really, really helped me out a lot. Yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys next time.